Hey there, it's Liz from No Trace. Welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make a giant scrunchie like this, or this, or this. So let's go. Making a giant scrunchie is just like making um, a regular scrunchie, but you're gonna work with a much wider piece of fabric. So this fabric is 10 inches wide and 24 inches long. And then you'll also need regular elastic, or you could make your elastic a little bit longer if you want, but I'm sticking with seven and a half inches of elastic. This is 100% organic cotton elastic, so it doesn't stretch quite as much as synthetic elastic. If you're working with synthetic elastic, you might want a little less than this. Um, but if you're working with a cotton or organic cotton elastic, you probably want about seven and a half inches. You'll also want two safety pins, and the bigger the better. These are the largest sizes I could find. And you'll probably need scissors, and you'll need an iron and an ironing board. And you'll also need lots of straight pins. The first step is to fold one of the short edges so that the wrong sides are facing about a 3 8 of an inch and press it with your iron. And this is going to be the finished edge um, that we'll put a raw edge inside of. So just press that in place. So after you've pressed this one short edge down, what you'll do next is fold the pretty sides towards each other lengthwise so that you're creating a long tube. And then you're just gonna add pins down this long raw edge of your fabric to hold it together so you can take it to your machine. So now we're gonna stitch right down this raw edge with about a quarter or three eighths inch seam allowance. And if you're a beginner sewer, you can always do a wider seam allowance to make it a little bit easier. But if you've got a little more practice at your machine, you could do a quarter inch. And I have a knee bar so I can lift up my presser foot with my knee, which is, and then my hand's not in your way here. So we'll do a little back stitch at the beginning. And then we just go straight down. And take out your pin before you get to it. Once your tube is stitched up on one side, you're ready to turn your tube right side out and that's where your safety pin comes in handy. And like I mentioned, a larger safety pin is easier, but this is the only size I could find. So go ahead and clip that safety pin onto one of the open ends of the tube that you created. And then you're just going to push it through to, uh, towards the other opening of the tube. And the nice thing about a giant scrunchie is that it actually pushes through really easy. So there it's come out the other side and now we just turn our whole tube right side out. Now I'll go ahead and leave this safety pin in place and we're gonna get our elastic and we're gonna put our elastic onto this safety pin also. So now the safety pin is clipped to the fabric and to the elastic. And then we'll put another safety pin on the other end of the elastic. And then again, we're gonna go inside our tube, but this time we're just threading this elastic through the tube. We're not turning the tube inside out again. We're just threading elastic. And now we have the elastic that's come out the other end. So we have both ends of our elastic and they are both clipped to a safety pin. So what we're gonna do next is use a straight pin and hold on to your elastic ends and then we are going to pin the elastic ends 
together with a straight pin. So you want to place one end over the other so that they overlap about a half of an inch or three quarters of an inch. Then you grab a straight pin and put it into that overlapping spot to really hold it in place. Okay, so now our elastic is held in place by this straight pin. Now another trick is to make your elastic much longer than you need and just tie it in a knot. Um, but you will get a little bit of um, sort of an, uh, a knot feeling on the inside of your scrunchie. So if this part feels too overwhelming, you could just tie a knot, but it's, it's really not hard. So just get that straight pin in there and then we're gonna stitch it with a zigzag stitch. All right, so we pull this pin out carefully so that the elastic doesn't leave from underneath the presser foot. And now we just do a zigzag stitch. And then reverse and do it go backwards. Make sure your fabric is not getting caught up in your stitches here. Go forward again. And then go backward one more time. and that should be really secure for you. So the elastic is stitched together and the next step is to insert the raw edge of the scrunchie into the folded edge that we pressed with the iron earlier. And you wanna check out your scrunchie and make sure that there aren't any wrinkles in it. So there are, not wrinkles, twists. Make sure there aren't any twists in the fabric so what I like to do is sort of find that seam and just follow the seam and make sure that it makes its way around nicely without any kind of twist. And this one, it, it looks good. There's no twists. So we're gonna put the raw edge into the folded edge and I'm gonna find those seams and I'm gonna line up the seams with each other and put a pin right there at the top. And then make sure that the rest of this folded edge is laying nicely and that the raw edge is totally hidden inside your folded edge. So you could push it in, you know, a half inch to an inch, depending on how comfortable you are that you can do a nice straight line there. So just check it over both sides, get a couple pins in there, and you can kind of make sure that there's no rough edges showing through, looks good. And then we're ready to stitch this last part. We're gonna go ahead and put this edge under the presser foot. And we're gonna pull this first pin out. And make sure you put your machine back on the straight stitch. And then just stitch straight down. And then do a little back stitch. And then forward again. Now I'm trying to stitch really close to the edge here where the two fabrics meet um, because I didn't put a ton of raw edge inside here so I want to make sure I'm catching it in my seam. Let's get this thread out of the way and take your time if your um, machine has speed control you might even want to turn the speed down so that you make sure you're following that edge nicely. You also want to make sure that you're not catching extra scrunchy fabric in your seam as you go. Now as I get close to this next pin, I'm going to go ahead and pull that out. So I don't want to stitch over that. And just keep going down. 
I'm gonna get these loose. I'm gonna trim all these loose threads at the end here. Okay, and when you reach the end, do a back stitch, just a couple, and then go forward, and it's done. It's kind of hard to see. After you get your stitches, make sure that you got both sides of your hem caught in your stitches. And then when you're sure that it looks good, all you have to do is trim those loose threads. You can check the scrunchie for loose threads at your other seam. And then you're done. You're ready to rock out with the giant scrunchie. I hope you had fun making a giant scrunchie with me and I'd love to see the scrunchie that you end up sewing. I'm linking below to a Facebook group that we have. It's all about zero waste sewing and crafting. So I'd love to see you in there. You can share your makes with the group. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe to the No Trace channel so you can get notified about all of our videos as they get released. We put out a new video every single week. So I'll see you again very soon.